Tonight, the Dutchess County Regional Chamber of Commerce is recognizing the talent, professionalism, commitment, and impact that our young professionals bring to the Hudson Valley. It's the 2015 40 Under 40 Mover and Shaker Awards. The top 40 under 40 is recognizing those individuals that go throughout their daily lives and don't look for the praise. So we're looking for that police officer, we're looking for the teacher, we're looking for the doctor, the dentist. Those individuals that don't get the pat on the back to say thank you, you're doing a great job and thank you for all that you're doing in the community to make it a better place to live. The event begins with a reception that takes up all three function rooms at the Poughkeepsie Grand. So what does it mean to you to be recognized as one of the 40 under 40 for 2015? Well, obviously I'm very honored. Uh, one of my staff members nominated me without my knowledge. Of course, to be selected is also a, just an extra honor. So just to, to have folks that I work with, uh, both at the Board of Elections and uh, as a rowing coach, uh, nominate me for such an award, it is um, I, I feel flattered. Today we're being recognized for giving back to the community and making Dutch community, Dutch's community a better county to live in. And me, me individually, I'm being awarded because I've given back to the Walk a Mile Committee, which is a fundraising committee where we raise awareness for domestic violence and sexual abuse against women. And we're trying to bring a stop and end to it. And what we, what we do is we literally walk a mile wearing women's shoes so we can talk about that we better understand what it's like to go through, go through a woman's experience. Our organization uh, has a, you know, one of the premier cardiac surgery programs in New York State and uh, my job is to uh, manage and organize the robust cardiothoracic and nurse practitioner programs that we have both in heart surgery and in thoracic surgery. How do you feel about being recognized as one of the class of 2015's 40 under 40? Well it's a tremendous honor and uh, really I got to thank the wonderful team that I have uh, that works so hard to get the results that we that we have. I want you to tell me why you're proud of your dad tonight. Well, where do I begin? I mean, my dad is uh, an inspiration to everyone he knows, his co-workers, his family, and uh, his children, especially me. And I see him rub off my little brother and my little sister, and I, I couldn't be more proud of my dad. The event then moves across the street to Change Point Church for the award presentation. Many of the people who have received this award over the years are some of the people I admire the most in the business community, so to just even walk behind them and continue on in that legacy is an enormous honor. For me, it's a special award because uh, I am from Kingston originally, but I moved to Brooklyn and I was down there for 11 years, so I returned to the Hudson Valley four years ago, and getting 40 Under 40 award to me means that I've integrated myself back into the community made it my home. Just because uh, there's 40 people here, there's probably a lot more than 40 who uh, contribute to Hudson Valley and Dutchess County uh, who, who are under the age of 40. But um, it feels amazing that the community sees my efforts, as well as all the individuals here. Thank you for the opportunity for talking about Jesse Saberstein, a young man with, uh, facing challenges of autism all of his life. He's run some anti-bullying campaigns. He's come re work for Anderson Center, helping other children with autism. He's a good teacher, a uh, mentor to others, and, and uh, he's very deserving of the award and recognition. An event like this can only happen with business community support. We feel privileged to be here at uh, Mid-Hudson Regional Hospital and committed to the education that uh, serves to increase the, the value of what we all provide collectively in the business community. Uh, we're here to support the young people who are making a difference in this region. And um, it's very important because HealthQuest plans to be here for a long time. It's important that we support the young people who are going to help carry us through into the future. I don't believe that a lot of folks know how many young people there are that are doing a terrific job, not just in their careers, but in the community. They give back, they donate, they're involved in all these organizations, and this is a tremendous opportunity to showcase those people and their tremendous talents and kind of give them a thank you for the work that they do. Just one more time. 